Cowabunga Corner. In this week's episode, we are talking about the Viacom buyout of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles taking place on October 21st, 2009. When I found out about this, I was on a road trip home from the West Coast as I did that huge trip last year that everyone knows about. I was on the phone talking to Phoenix as I was leaving Wall Drugs and I'm seeing a huge storm and stuff coming and I'm heading towards Minnesota and she tells me Turtles was sold. I did not believe it at first. I really did not believe it. I'm like, search everywhere online and disprove this. But it was true. When I got home, I even did my own little bits and searches of research. And I found out from some of the guys at Mirage Studios that it was a shock to them as well, as they found out only a week before it was made public. This was a big blow to a lot of people, as we were all taken in by surprise. Nickelodeon now has the Ninja Turtles, old and new. Which is a good thing, because it's the old stuff, but um, that means we will continue to see things like this awesome towel behind me. It's from Nickelodeon, Viacom, this year. And look which turtles it is, it's the old cartoon style. Even the shirt I'm wearing right now is a Viacom shirt. So we're still seeing the turtles that we know and love, and we're expecting a lot of new. Now, I know Nickelodeon is a little bit scary because none of us know what to expect, but they have always treated their shows with a lot of respect. They have a lot of great shows like Wolverine and the X-Men, Avatar The Last Airbender, The Fantastic Four, and Iron Man. All of these are not just made for kids, but can be enjoyed by adults as well. So they have this fantastic lineup already of good shows, which means we still have a lot of hope for a show that everyone can enjoy and a good mixture between the old and the new. They also have their own cartoon channel. We got Nicktoons. I love Nicktoons. I'm a huge supporter of Nicktoons. I watch it. They rerun their shows throughout the day and evenings. So if you work, you always have a chance to go back and catch the show and rerun. It's really a good channel, and it's better than watching like the CW Network, where most of our fans that like the 4 Kids series were going, I don't get CW. There's a lot more places that have Nicktoons. So we're excited about this whole Nicktoon situation. Now, I know there is a lot of concern about this Nicktoon Nickelodeon takeover of Turtles, because Eastman and Laird are not going to have their hands in on the show. Though we have to go all the way back to the beginning of Turtles to really look at how much Eastman and Laird themselves have, and including anyone from Mirage Studios, has really had inside a lot of the outside areas of Ninja Turtles. We look at back in 1987, the original cartoon series come out. Writer, David Wise. David Wise changed the story. You ask Eastman and Laird about the original cartoon series, and there's a lot of stuff they don't know about that series. Their hands were not in it. They were way too busy with handling the licensing and stuff. And even during this time, Mirage Volume 1 had a huge pocket between Return to New York and City at War, where they had guest writers and artists coming in to write the comic book. And then we look at Volume 2. It was not written by Eastman and Laird. Volume 3 it went to Image. So a lot of the medias, the Next Mutation, the movies, the Coming Out of Their Shells tour, things people grew up enjoying was not handled by the studio itself. Yes, it was approved by Mirage, but they were not the writers, the ones always behind it. Some of the stuff was coached, the first Turtle movie especially. You had Eastman and Laird working with the writer throughout the first script, but then it was changed when it actually got in the director's hands. Even rewritten, another writer came in and fixed up the script a little bit, and that was after Eastman and Laird's original approval. So while we're scared, we still have a good chance for something new to come out. Just be ready to expect some differences, and we've always had change. The original fans had to accept the cartoon, the cartoon had to accept an expectation, then we all have to accept the 4 Kids series, which was different from anything before it. So, yes, I'm excited. 
I'm thrilled. And I think that all of the fans should go into this with an open eye. I know that's not going to happen. There's going to be a lot of fans going in there to judge and look at the past and try to judge this too, what we get. But I think we all need to release what we had, go back and watch it on the DVDs or read your comic books and reminisce that way, but move forward with an open mind and be ready for something new and exciting and trust in the company that paid out $60 million to get their hands on all of this. They didn't do it to throw it away. They did this because they knew that they can make Ninja Turtles go into new places that they've never been in before. Viacom, we are trusting you. You right now have those turtles in your hands. This is something a lot of us fans care deeply about. This is something that stretches worldwide with people watching your every move. We're scared. But at the same time, we are putting our trust into you guys. We are really hoping to be able to see new and fantastic things. And seeing what you guys have done with a lot of your other Nickelodeon shows, I believe that you guys can bring us a whole new world of Ninja Turtles that every fan can enjoy. Now also, those who watch Cowabunga Corner, do not forget that we have the Cowabunga Corner raffle going on right now. We have as prizes a few things, including the crossover of the Ninja Turtles with the Flaming Carrot, the very first one, where Raph becomes one of the Watchmen. On uh, this is autographed by Bob Burton, who is the creator of the Flaming Carrot. And we also have a few other items, like a few small turtle stuff. Thinking about throwing in some posters, we'll see about that. Depends on how many people actually enter the raffle. At this time, the, the board is open. All you have to do is do a video reply to any of the Cowabunga Corner posts. So if you want to talk about the Words and Pictures Museum, if you've been there, please do a video reply. If you want to talk about the movies or the cartoons or the comics or the toys, I know there's others out there. I enjoy hearing back from the fans. Please. Also, with this blog, tell us what you think of the Viacom buyout. Are you excited or are you scared? I'm a little column A and a little about column B. I know that it's new hands, but I was scared back in 2000 when Kevin Eastman sold his rights to Peter Laird. That time really scared me because I did not know how much influence Kevin and Peter had towards the different types of storylines. I was very happy with what came out of it. Peter did fantastic, especially with the Four Kids series. So we're just looking now, 10 years later, at a new interesting change, and I'm ready for it. Are you?